reorganizing my fidgets. I've gotten a lot of new fidgets ever since I first organized my drawers, especially poppets. So I think it's time to organize them again. Poppets first. And the rest of this drawer. I'm not going to change anything about the mochis, but this is a mess. My stress ball drawer is going to stay the same. This basket was for my poppets before, but I'm going to change it to my dimples. Since there's so much room left, I'm going to add my pop tubes right next to them. I'm just going to put a bunch of random fidgets over here. Okay, it's pretty filled now. Finally, the poppets. Guys, everything fits except for this giant poppet, which I'm just going to keep at the top. It looks so good. Hey guys, I just got a dimple and a dimple dimple. Fidget trading with my sister. What will you give me for these two swirl needos? I'll give you a DNA ball and a bubble needo. Oh my gosh, yes, I accept. I have a lot of pink fidgets, so what will you give me for this pink fidget pack? It includes poppets, a bubblegum needo, a tangle, and a pop tube. Oh my gosh, those have some of my dream fidgets. I'll give you these blue poppets, this blue color changing needo, and this blue triple dimple. So basically blue fidget pack for pink fidget pack? I accept! What's your offer for three of the new simple dimples? For that, I will give you two fidget spinners and two simple dimples. Yes, I accept. I have this Orbeez stress ball and this really clear slime for trade. I'll give you this DIY Orbeez stress ball and this paw print mochi. Add. I'll let it tangle. Gimme! Fidget hunting at five below. Guys, we found Squishmallows. Orbeez mesh ball. So they have these mochi packs, which they usually have. A lot of floam, slime, squishies, and they have the bear gummies that I already have. So I didn't really find anything I wanted at five below, but I did get this stitch Squishmallow and this Dumbo Squishmallow for my friend, as well as these Airhead soft filled bites. That's all, bye. To your order let's see all my rainbow stuff first my unicorn rainbow pop it my rainbow orby stress ball puzzle ball this tangle this rainbow snapper this rainbow infinity cube that's all my rainbow stuff let's organize that's better let's ship it fidget training with my sister again these are my fidgets and these are her fidget what do you have to offer for this red acupressure this thing oh my gosh i accept call for changing me though i offer you this normal needle no fine what do you have to offer for this really too cute mode? This acupressure ring. I'll accept since I'm a big fan of acupressure ring. What do you have to offer for this blue needle? This orange oxcon pop it. Add one more thing and then we have a deal. I'm a decline. I know you love these bubble needles, so what do you have to offer for them? Nice and add this mesh ball. Add please. This cute little I'll accept. What do you have to offer for this dimple digit? Oh my gosh, the dimple digit. This dimple, this pop it, this pop it, this pop it, this pop it. Please, please accept. One more thing. I know you really want this tiny mesh ball, so here you go. Thank you. I think it was so worth it. Wait, I tell her for this rainbow snapper. I love this mesh ball. Can you add, please, because this is very tiny. This bubble need, though. I'll accept. Wait, I tell her for this tank. All this. Except making ice out of my dimple digits. I've made ice out of a poppet before, and it turned out really cool, so I'm so excited to try it with my dimple digits. Now let's go fill it with water. First, I'm going to fill this measuring cup up with water. That should be good. So I'm going to bring both the dimple digits and the cup of water to my outside fridge since there's more room. Oh, perfect. There's enough room for my dimple digits to go right here. I'm going to try to pour the water only inside of the circles and not get it all over the dimple digits, but it's going to be hard. Oh, that one was pretty good. So far, so good. 
It's easier to fill the circles up when I'm not filming, so I'll be back once all the circles are filled up with water. All the circles are filled now, and obviously they aren't perfect, but it's the best that I could do. I'm so excited to see how this turns out. Come back tomorrow to see the results. El día de hoy les voy a enseñar a hacer este squishy de panda de papel Así que comencemos Lo primero que hice fue doblar un rectángulo de papel Le di esta forma como de una hoja Ya que tengas el dibujo trazado Ahora vamos a pilar 5 rectángulos más Y esto vamos a hacer para recortarlo Una vez que tengas estas 6 piezas Vamos a hacer la carita del panda Y todos los bracitos y las pernitas Y vamos a pintarlo Puedes utilizar plumones Pero yo utilicé pintura negra Ponle cinta adhesiva a cada pieza Para que este squishy no se vaya a romper Cuando lo aprietes Une las piezas con cinta adhesiva cuando ya tengas las dos mitades, o sea la parte de atrás y la de enfrente, ahora sí vamos a unirlo. Para que esté suavecito vamos a rellenarlo y también le vamos a poner las orejas. Y listo, así nos queda este squishy de papel. Hey guys, I have this really bad idea, but I'm going to do it anyways. I have a lot of mochis and I have unopened ones over here. Basically, I'm going to pick a few mochis to put randomly around my neighborhood. And I'm going to be keeping them there for one day to see what happens to them. These are the mochis I picked out, so now let's go outside. Now that I'm outside, let's hide the mochis. I'm going to put the first mochi in my yard, and this one's next to the tree. My house is over there, so I'm going to put the paw print mochi next to the street sign. Someone is definitely going to take this one, but I'm going to put it in this flower plant. There's so many bees outside right now, but I'm going to put this mochi next to the stop sign. There's three left, and I do not know where to put them. I'm just going to put this one in the grass. This one's going to get so dirty, but I'm going to put it next to the fire hydrant. This is my neighbor's yard, so I'm just going to put the starfish mochi in the rocks. Come back tomorrow to see what happens to the mochis. Bye! Part 2 of the fidget haul. I'm going to open everything else I got from Five Below. This gummy, again, is very squishy and sticky, and it also has this giant hole at the bottom. I don't really know what it's for, but if you do, let me know. Now I'm going to open all of these squeeze balls. Here they all are. I am so excited for these two Orbeez ones. First up is this blue one. It is very sticky and it color changes into purple. Next is the orange one and this one color changes into red. I love this one and it has two of my favorite colors in it. This one feels the same as the last one. Second to last, I have this neon yellow crunchy one. And lastly is the neon pink one and this one is also very crunchy. I definitely recommend getting these. Lastly, I'm going to open up this five pack of mochis. The first mochi. This really cute blue starfish. Second bag. Yellow seal. Third. Pink fish. And the last two. Dragon and cloud. Fidget haul. Everything that I got from Five Below and the Dollar Tree is in this bag. I'm going to start with everything that I got from the Dollar Tree. First up, I got a two-pack of mochis. Look how cute. And the last thing I got from the Dollar Tree, which is probably the most exciting, are these Orbeez fruits. First up, we have this lime. Next is this strawberry. I love this one. And lastly, we have this banana, which is my favorite. If you ever see these at the Dollar Tree, get them. They are so worth it, and they're only a dollar. And here's everything I got from Five Below. I'm going to start with these pop tubes. I still can't believe I found these at Five Below. Let's open them. Here they are. Here's the lime one. The blue one. And the red one. Wow, these are long. I'm going to be opening these in part two. Fidget shopping with my dad at home, Mark. Hi. Look at all the squishmallows. Oh my gosh. Guys. They have more poppets. Here's a small haul. I only got two things. First, I got this avocado toast squishmallow, and its name is Sinclair. And second, I got this bubble neato, so let's open it up. Oh my gosh, this feels so nice. 
I love Bubble Neato so much. I just wanted to show you guys all of the food squishmallows that I have. I have seven food squishmallows and I love them all so much. That's all. Bye! Part two of everything that Total Fidget Toys sent me. If you want to buy any of these fidgets, the link will be in my bio. This tie-dye poppet is definitely one of the coolest things that I got. Let's open it. Oh my gosh, look at this. If you didn't know, this is actually a necklace. And I guess you would just wear it like this. Whoa, this is so good. This poppet is definitely one of the best poppets I've ever felt. And it's also loud on both sides. I would 100% recommend this. Next up are all of these mini poppets. These colors of mini poppets are not listed on their website because they are a thinner material. If they do decide to sell these mini poppets, they will be cheaper than usual. But either way, I am still so excited to open these. These are so pretty. These are my first ever mini poppets, so I am so excited. These do pop very easily. Bye!